my friend Ombi Gaming here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back here in Emergency Response Liberty County for another video on the beginner's tutorial guide to uh, Liberty County. So today um, I'm going to be covering um, the Lib City Fire and Rescue Department and uh, the DOT teams. Uh, now, uh, last week we covered the civilian, pretty much all of the civilian um, teams and all that you need to know in the civilian team and uh, the f uh, police team. So this week I will be going over and showing you the River City Fire and Rescue and the Department of Transportation. Now the reason I'm not showing you the Liberty County Sheriff is because it is almost identical to the River City Police. I'll just go over there for a second to show you in a moment, but um, all that is different is the vehicles, um, or the vehicle colour and the customization. Um, but all the vehicles are the same. So I hope you enjoy this video and this series. If you do, please make sure to help out my channel by subscribing if you can, because that would be super great. Um, we've been so many in the last like um, month, few months. It's just been unbelievable. And thank you so much to everyone who has. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go on. Okay, so we are going to be starting off by going over to the Liberty County Sheriff. So I just want to show you what there is in the Liberty County Sheriff. It is pretty much identical to the police team. You can see here we are just we've got a different building. We've just got some uh, sheriff uniforms instead of um, the police. They're at the same level, so you unlock them at the same level, and uh, they've got the same uh, the same clothing for everything and the same equipment. Okay, um, and all that there is to know uh, everything else. You can see this is the building, it's uh, near the housing suburb, which is just over there. Uh, and let's go and spawn ourselves a car. If we see, uh, let's spawn the Crown Victoria. Um, and you can see that it's actually just got the sheriff markings on it. So um, it's just got some nice sheriff, Liberty County Sheriff, and then the badge over here. It's like a greeny colour. Um, pretty nice. Uh, yellow stripes and then just uh, normal. So, and also uh, one thing to note is that the... Uh, the plates are different, but uh, if you're starting out, it probably doesn't matter if the plates are different. Okay, let's go over uh, to the Liberty County Sheriff and have a look at them. Okay, so you'll be spawned in in the um, police. No, what am I? Okay, so you'll be spawned in in the fire and rescue station. So you'll be over here. It's the same with the police, except you'll automatically be loaded onto the fire menu. And it's the same principle. When you press T, you can see that we are transmitting. So I can say hi, and it will come up on the radio. Press T again, and then just talk normally. It will just come up with a bubble above us, our head. Um, the same thing is we've got uh, the um, the radio, um, you know, all the same things, and that is pretty simple. Okay, so um, but let's go over here. We can see that this is where we uh, get geared up. We can change our loadout. So now, as a volunteer, um, you'll be able to access all of these. So you'll you'll be able to access the station uniform or the EMS uniform, the uh, the turnouts pants and t-shirt. With like those and like the full fire uh, and rescue suit. So if we put this on, this one's like an EMS kind of suit, um, and that's pretty nice. Just like you know, casual clothes. Go over here. We have these. You can see it says fire on the back. It's got some nice some River City um, like fire and rescue. Some trousers on, and then the full turnout is with the same uh, trousers, just with the top as well. And you can see, there we go. Uh, and now we also have a helmet and SCBA mask. So we come over here, we can access this, so we can remove our hat. So if we, when we remove our hat, that removes our hair or hat, whatever your Roblox avatar currently has on. Then we've got a CBA, so that goes on the back. You've got the tank straps over you. And when you want to turn them off, all you've got to do is press them. And you'll know if they're on because um, you there will be yellow and you'll be able to uh, they'll be on you so we've got the CBA SCBA we've got the mask so you can see that's the oxygen mask that links up uh, to the uh, oxygen tank we've got the eye shield so that just kind of like pops down you see 
and then we've got the flashlight so if we're going into somewhere at night time we can see what we're doing and that is that is very happy um, so you can see the light over here okay now let's go and spawn ourselves a vehicle so you'll be spawned over here all you need to do is go into this massive room over here and find this red and grey spawning point so it's the same with all the others you just press E on your keyboard and here we go so um, to start off with you'll be able to access the fire engine so um, there's so this is the only one you'll be able to access because the other ones are a lot of money you can see this one's 25k um, this one's 29,000 and the other ones you uh, you can unlock at uh, you can see these ones are rank only so you need a paramedic rank to unlock this um, and so when you start off with uh, you'll see up here I'm a rookie um, but then you'll be able to see okay so that so just press this arrow to see what the next level is okay so let's spawn ourselves the fire engine so we'll spawn ourselves that and we'll be teleported and let's just see so with the new update uh, we can we no longer get all our equipment from the lockers we can actually now go over to a vehicle and uh, search the um, access the compartment so if we press E you can see that this is what I have on me I've got my MTD my flashlight and fire SCBA now in the trunk of this vehicle we've got a medic bag um, I'll talk all about these later we've got cones uh, fire hose chainsaw flare and a ladder so now let's just get a few of these out and let's have a look okay so the cell phone's the same mtd is just due to fire medical calls so nothing really different with that then if we go over a flashlight that's just a normal flashlight like the other one the medic bag is what happens if so if there is a player that has shot or has i don't know been hurt by a fire we can just walk over to them and and, and a button um will say e press e to heal and then all you need to do is hold e down for roughly three seconds and they'll be healed so that is that is nice you can also use uh in private servers we can also use the uh heal me command and of course i'm not uh, i'm not i haven't been shot or anything so that but uh, that is what you can use uh, so let's see cones cones are the same um, you can spawn the same amount of cones um, that is simple. oh okay now we go over to ladder so you'll come over to here this is I haven't done anything all you need to do is just press six now you'll come and you'll see I have a ladder in my hand and an image like um, this ghosted image of what what the ladder would look like if I put it down so if I press now so if I left clicked this is what the ladder would look like let's just pick that back up again and go over here now for example if we wanted to line it up with the building what we had to do is press E you can just press E and you can see it is extending and then to press to like lower it down all you have to do is press Q and you can see in the bottom right hand corner or in the bottom uh, you can see it is extended to 10 studs at the moment so and then all you all you have to do is it moves with your character and it stays with your character and then once you're ready left click and then we have got the ladder in place and you can see that it's just up there um, and then you can climb it up you can climb up the ladder onto the roof and then you can safely get down as well and then press e to take it down okay chainsaw if you need to cut down some trees you can hear if i left click you can hear a chainsaw sound that is pretty nice unfortunately uh, you cannot cut wheels or something or you cannot damage vehicles with this but that is fine now if we have a fire hose um, all you need to do is you can see I have it here on the right part of my screen so it's the beginning part of a fire hose and you can see I can um, move it here as well now if there's a fire all you need to do is hold left click down or left button on the mouse and here we go it just sprays out water and I will come and show you now the uh, calls 
Okay, sorry for that, everyone. Um, we are back here. There was a problem. Roblox just shut down for a minute because, uh, yeah, there was some updates for the server. Anyway, uh, we are back here um, in the fire team. And so I'm just going to use my admin command. So let's just do start uh, fire. Okay, so now I you can't you can only do this in private server if you're admin, but let's just go here and this is just because no fires were coming up. So let's go on MTD. We can see that uh, let's just click on this one. So we can see there's call seven nine five. It's by the server. So near the housing suburb, uh, call a server and description residential fire alarm. So this means that uh, you can see over here that it's on the second road, and um, we can just go over here. Um, and uh, let's just uh, okay turn on the sound and we can put on our emergency lights which are, are like our main emergency lights to see these and we can put on our federal Q2B siren or our PWR call so I'll put on uh, the federal 2B Q siren let's head over to the housing suburb we'll be able to see it in a moment and it's the same commands with dry it's the same um, with driving these uh, fire vehicles um, with all of the police and civilians so all the vehicles are the same if you're wondering. Anyway we can come up over here let's just park our vehicle outside of the house okay so now um, yeah so let's get out our uh, fire hose and what we do is just uh, spray the fire so just look at this it went out and you just have to spray the fire and it will hopefully go out as you can see here and now with these uh, residential fires you may have to enter the home because there may be some fires in the home yep you can uh, you can hear the fire alarm actually in the background uh, let's just uh, put this fire out and you can get health damage um, yeah if you stand close but that's because um, but because I'm wearing my SCBA I'm pretty much okay <laughs> actually so yeah uh, let's go in here, nothing in here, and then, um, yeah, I'll talk about uh, buying houses later and all of that stuff, um, because there are lots of questions over that, but, uh, yep, yeah, all the house is okay, you can just come over to the door and press E to leave, and it will teleport you outside, and you can see, uh, there'll probably be, oh yeah, there's one or two fires on the back, which is fine, let's just put those out, and there we go, 45 XP, the fire you can see there and it will level you up and there we go but just to make sure um this is this is very important if you're in a private server and you put out a fire when you go back to a uh, a normal server or go to another private server it will not save so for example i have let's say i have 10 xp uh then i put out a fire which is 45 xp so then i have 55 xp so i have 55 xp in total but then I decide, oh no, I want to go to, um, I want to go to this other server. Okay, so you go to that other server, you join the server, but then when you get to that server, um, you will only have 10 XP because in private servers it doesn't save. Just so you know that, just to clarify. Anyway, um, fires can spawn all around the map, and also if a vehicle is on fire. So for example, if my vehicle's on fire. All you need to do is just spray it for roughly seven seconds and the fire should be out. It will still be smoking, but the fire will be out and you won't get injured um, if you go near it. So that is, that's all good. So I pretty much talked all about the police and fire team. I will go into more depth about all the different vehicles in another video, but this is just giving you the basics of the fire and rescue teams. Um, and once you level up you can um, get more vehicles and ambulances you'll be able to unlock ambulances and buy them um, and this is the hospital I will talk all about the different buildings in another video um, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for that okay so let's go over and change to the DOT team so let's go over here Department of Transportation 989 and <clears throat> okay so you can see I'm brought into the Department of Transportation. This is pretty. This is one. Of, this is actually the newest team. So you can see we've got a nice new building over by the police station. And now we've got these lockers as well. We've got two lockers over here. Um, and 
So you'll both you'll be able to access both of these. So we've got the um, these clothes, the uh, the like the reflective uh, vest. Um, so this is just like a reflective vest and some trousers. You can see uh, Liberty County DOT, and you've also got the full reflectives. Um, so that's over here, um, and you can see those. And um, we've also got gear hard hats. Um, so you can put a hard hat on. Uh, you can see I've got that. I would need to remove my hair, but uh, um, unfortunately, it does not give us the ability to do that. So let's just uh, take that off. Okay, so um, you come over here. Uh, you can go to this yellow and grey spawning point, and you'll be able to access the Toyota Takuma. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. Um, but you'll have enough money and you'll have enough XP to unlock this at first. You will not be able to have enough money um, to buy this unless you buy it for 60 Robux. Um, and you'll not have enough for the flatbed. Okay, so let's spawn this here. Um, you see we have uh, four spawning points. And here you are. So, so this this is a really nice vehicle. Um, you see, uh, let's just turn on the warning lights. So you can see a big button in the bottom right corner. So we've got uh, lights up here. And um, yeah, the, uh, the back lights flash as well. So with this one, we have access to the bed because you can see this is uh, like a flat, not a flat bed, a uh, truck. So you can see we've got cones, tire change, and a traffic sign. So let's get those. So, okay, so with the MTD, it's the same as all the other ones. You just can get calls about them. We've got the flashlight. So let's go over here, you know, just normal flashlight. Cones. Uh, with the DOT, we are able to spawn more cones. Um, so you can see, look, we can spawn up to six cones. That's that's quite good because um, you need. And then, if a vehicle's tire has popped, um, you can just come over to them, and um, what you'll have to do is you have to change it. So you can see that, and I will explain all about that. Uh, I I did explain that in a video uh, I did, so I will that I will link that. Uh, in the description and in the top uh, in the top right hand corner of this video and then we also got this sign so if you wanted to direct traffic so let's say we wanted to um, block off let's say we wanted to manage this intersection okay so we park up over here da -da -da -da. okay and then we get our traffic sign out so we can uh, tell these people to slow down so we can say okay yep you need to slow and then we can tell these people just press e to rotate and you can see that this side changes to this side and we can say okay you need to stop you need to stop okay you can go slowly you need to stop you need to go slowly so it's pretty nice that is a really cool feature of the game and um that is a very unique feature as well uh, we, don't, we don't have that sort of thing on any of the other teams okay so i've just uh my friend has just joined the server and uh, let's just uh, go on our mtd Okay, so someone has popped all of my tires. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so they're over at the civilian spawn. So let's head over there now. Um, so let's go and see if we can fix their tires. You know, let's get past these uh, lights. Okay, wow. So someone has popped all of their tires. Okay, so um, okay, let's park up over here. Um, yep, yep. We, <laughs> yeah, healed. Okay, nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's just put some cones down to show uh, that you cannot use these parking spaces because uh, um, we are currently using them. And, yeah, let's go over here and we can get uh, our change tire tool out. So, now we can see that it comes up with change tire. So, press on this and it will come up with an image of a tire. What you have to do is you have to press on these nuts, or these bolts, sorry, and unscrew them. So, so you have to like hold them down for all the time. Otherwise, if I hold them down for half, it just stops. So you have to hold them down, and then what you can do is you can pull that tire off, or you can leave it there, whichever one. It, it doesn't really matter. And then um, pull the new one on. Yep, you can hear that um, click into place, uh, and then just screw them back in. There we go. And last one and there we go so we get 10 more XP change tire and um, so that's pretty much how to do it it's it's very simple 
so um, it's yeah it's very easy to do and it's good at getting XP because um, it can you can do it very fast um, and yeah it it's also like not the most boring thing to do because you actually have to do something so it, it is quite interesting. Okay, 